Assalamu alaikum students. I hope you would be doing fine in these days of lockdown at your home. Uh, here is worksheet number one for you. Uh, here are five questions related to English grammar. In question number one, you have to write an essay on a picnic to the seaside. Your essay must be of three paragraphs. And you have to write that uh, what uh, would you like to eat at the seaside, what will you take with you there, what kind of games will you play there, and uh, write everything that you like on the to do at the picnic. In question number two, you have to write an application to your headmistress in which you have to ask for two days leave. Now, how will you write it? Here is the method. First, you will write on the left side of your page to then the headmistress. Then you will not write your school, original school name. You just write, you will just write A, B, C school, Karachi, then respected madam. After that, in two or three lines, write what is your problem and then tell her that you cannot come to school for two days. After that, on the right side of your page, you will write here yours obediently and don't write your name, just write X, Y, Z. And in the same line, you will write down the date. This is the way in which you have to write your application. Now, question number three. Question number three is, you have to define parts of a speech and write your, their, their names. Now, when we talk to someone, we speak some sentences and each sentence has some words. All those words are called the parts of speech. There are total nine parts of speech. You have to write the definition from page number one of your English grammar book and write all the names of nine parts of speech also. Then you will write down the definition of noun and pronoun and you can also find and you can find the definitions of these also on page number one of your English grammar book. Then in question number four, you have to write the forms of some verbs. The first is go. You will write the second and the third form. Then buy, do, see and brain. Question number five is, you have to translate some Urdu sentences into English. All these sentences are in present indefinite tense and the first sentence is in simple present tense. Wo ek imandar admi hai, main school jata hun, hum cricket khelte hai, tum khana khate ho, mera school bohat bada hai. All these sentences must, uh, all, in all these sentences you will use the first form of the verb. I hope you will enjoy doing this worksheet. May God bless you.